With F1's traditional summer break underway, now is the perfect time for us to put every team and every driver under the microscope. This week, we look at the sport's bottom five teams. 2019 marked the dawn of a new era at Racing Point as its first full season under new owners, the Lawrence Stroll-led consortium. The Silverstone-based squad emerged from administration last year a far stronger force, its cash-strapped past exactly that. With more funding, meaning bigger goals and expectations. We are aiming for at least fourth this, this year. Uh, when you consider the level of competition that it's in the midfield, with such a big teams around, big manufacturers, it's not going to be easy, but uh, this team has done it before. Uh, I will be very pleased if we can have a couple of podiums as well. Uh, and yeah, have a, have a great season. And why not our first victory together? But the squad has scored points at just six out of 12 rounds, including at the first four races. Azerbaijan again a success, with both drivers scoring. Canada and Germany its only other points. Care of Lance Stroll, who has outpointed Sergio Perez so far this year, 18 to 13. Fourth at Hockenheim, a season-boosting result. The team's performance, though, has been limited by its car, the RP19. But the squad has big expectations for the second half of the year with updates at recent races, including new suspension for Budapest and more scheduled for Belgium, Italy and Singapore, all adding up to an almost B-spec car for a quantum leap forward. The financial pressures have been eased, but now um, we have other pressures, and those pressures are to perform at an even higher level than we have before, and we're all working hard to do that. Fourth may not be achievable this year, with the squad currently sitting in eighth with 31 points, 51 and four spots behind a resurgent McLaren. But 12 points and three spots behind fifth place Toro Rosso is doable, should the squad's upgrades take it to the next level. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.